guys, welcome to my 30 week bump date. I cannot believe I have hit 30 weeks. I have 10 more weeks to go. Time is just flying by and baby's gonna be here before I know it. So um, this week, baby is the size of a motorcycle helmet, which is a pretty cool thing to be the size of. <laughs> he is also the size of a head of cabbage a platypus or a cantaloupe. I love cantaloupe almost as much as I love watermelon. Um, so it's fun to just see what he is the size of this week. From here on out, baby is gonna start putting on about a half a pound a week until he is born. He's about three and a half pounds now. Um, so he's pretty big already. Like I could give birth now and he would survive, you know, I mean, he'd need a lot of help from the NICU, but he would still be okay. Also this week, baby is starting to shed that lanugo, which is like that hair that covers his whole body to like keep him from pruning and stuff. That's starting to shed, getting ready for birth. Baby's um, eyes are now in place. However, they are still developing. Um, I think it's about 34 weeks is when the eyes like are as good as they're gonna get and and so he's got a couple more weeks of that to go but they are in place and also all babies um, if they are breech start to move towards like the head down position I'm pretty sure he's already head down um, I can feel hiccups right now and when I do feel like movements a lot of it is down very low um, so I'm assuming he's head down this week for symptoms I've been having a ton of back pain and my left rib pain as well um, we went on a vacation this past week to uh, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Tennessee area, which is about a six hour car drive. Thankfully, I was able to use my belly band, which I got off of Amazon. Um, let me know if you want me to link it, I can. It really helped. It just like lifts your belly up and gives your back support. Without that, I would not have been able to survive that car ride because uh, my back just hurts so much more now. We did a lot of walking, um, some hiking of trails on that trip, so I was putting a lot more energy out that I, than I normally do, and so at the end of every night I had to put the belly band back on because my back would just be hurting so bad. That seems to have gotten worse this week. I'm still getting heartburn here and there, however I have not hardly needed um, Tums. I might use it like one day a week and that's about it. So the heartburn, although it is like it'll flare up here and there, it usually doesn't last too long um, and it's not that bad. So I'm actually doing pretty good on that. I haven't had like any headaches. I haven't needed to use Advil. Um, I can't even remember the last time I used it. I mean a long time ago. So nothing with that. My nails are still growing super, super fast. I am, I do seem to be shedding a lot more hair than I have been, so not sure what that's all about. Maybe it's just like the summer and the heat or something. I am hot all the time. Um, it's like 90s here in Ohio right now, so I've basically been like avoiding going outside at all um, because it's just been way too hot for me. I've been putting my hair up. Usually I leave my hair down, but I've been putting my hair up and ponytails a lot more lately just because like it keeps me cool, a lot more cooler than leaving my hair down. I'm pretty tired um, at night. The other day I had to go to bed at 10. Usually I go to bed around 11, but I had to go to bed at 10 because my eyes were like so dry. I just could not keep them open. I was just so tired. So definitely losing a lot more energy, a lot more sleep. Um, I've been waking up several times throughout the night to go to the bathroom now. So that's been difficult. However, I am not, I don't seem to be having too much trouble with falling back asleep after I wake up in the middle of the night. So that seems to be in the past, which is really, really nice because I need all the sleep I can get. I've been feeling a lot more emotional lately. I feel like for the past couple weeks, my emotions have been steady. And even in my app, I was reading that this week usually is when the emotions start going crazy again. Not sure why, but um, I do feel more emotional, just like 
more like I get sad very easily and just like very emotional. My um, belly keeps getting bigger. I will show you a bump shot. I also want to show you I'm wearing my due in September shirt that I got. I love this shirt. Okay, so here is my belly. That is really sticking out now. I mean, there's no hiding it. I am very pregnant. I mean, 10 more weeks to go, so I should be showing. <laughs> I have put on a lot more weight recently. Um, last time, a while ago, I weighed myself and I was 18 pounds, and then I just weighed myself a few days ago and I had gained 22 pounds overall. So a pretty big jump from 18, still within the range, I'm thinking 25 to 35 pounds is what I should be gaining. So I'm still doing okay, however, I'm sure like as the third trimester goes on, I'm just gonna gain more. I mean, obviously baby's gaining a half a pound a week now, so I will keep gaining, but hopefully I can keep it. <laughs> A little under control. I'm still craving sweets like crazy. I just love ice cream, cookies, like all that stuff. No other real cravings other than that though. It surprises me that I've been gaining a lot of weight because I feel like um, I've come to the point where like my organs are so squished up because of baby and so I can't fit as much food in my stomach. Like I'll eat half a meal and I'll be so full or if I overeat then I just feel like miserable the whole day. So yeah, that's um, been kind of um, hard to deal with. It's just like I feel really, really hungry but then I get full really fast. I haven't really had any swelling, I don't think. Sometimes my ankles can seem a little swollen but like not that crazy. I'm still wearing like my wedding ring. So I never had to take it off with Grayson, so I don't anticipate having to take it off with this baby. I forgot to update you guys in the last um, bump date, but I did hear back from my doctor and I do not have gestational diabetes. Woohoo! I passed the test. It was kind of close. I only passed it by like seven or eight points, so it was kind of close, but a pass is a pass, so they're not worried about it. And then they also tested like a lot of other um, things within my blood, like platelet counts and white blood cells, red blood cells, like all that stuff. Check for anemia and things like that, and all of that came back normal as well. So everything's going great. Um, I have my next doctor's appointment a week from today. Um, so like I said before, I will be having a 31 week doctor's appointment instead of a 32 week doctor's appointment just because my doctor will be on vacation when I'm 32 weeks. I do feel like I'm out of breath a lot more. Um, just going like up and down the stairs a couple of times will really give me out of breath. We went hiking and we went up some pretty steep trails and I was huffing and puffing trying to get up those trails, but I did it, but yeah. Um, and it's really hard for me to bend over lately. It's just like, it really hurts whenever I have to bend over. So that's been, um, a challenge. I recently tried to sleep with my pregnancy pillow. I tried last night to sleep with it, but I still just cannot get comfy with that thing. Which is so funny because I loved my pregnancy pillow with my first pregnancy, but this pregnancy I just, I can't get comfy with it. So still no pregnancy pillow usage for me. <laughs> I have been feeling baby a lot more lately. Um, his um, moves are getting a lot more powerful. Um, and also I've noticed that when Anthony's in the room and he hears Anthony's voice, he always starts kicking whenever he hears Anthony. He won't kick when Anthony puts his hands on my stomach or anyone else, even when I try to feel it. Um, but when he hears Anthony's voice, he really does respond. It, they do say that babies respond more to like the deeper toned voice just because they can hear it better than like the higher pitch voice. But whenever Anthony is around, I do notice that he is kicking a lot when he hears Anthony, which is really sweet. We are getting closer and closer to a name. We're pretty sure we have a first name picked out. We're just working on the middle name. So hopefully, I mean, we have 10 more weeks, but hopefully we can figure all that information out. But yes, he is moving a lot more. I'm feeling, I am feeling hiccups a lot more, finally. And yeah, sometimes his movements are pretty painful. Um, it can be 
like he sometimes is really really low and it makes me feel like I have to pee like every five seconds because he's like on my bladder um but it's all fun and I love feeling him move around so I think that's it for this week not too much tune in next week because I will have my next doctor's appointment and all the information from that um, it's actually not going to be too much information, we're just going to do like belly measuring. It will be interesting to see if I'm still measuring a week ahead or not. Of course we'll hear the baby's heartbeat and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that, subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!